Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Take it to again and in this video we are going to be talking about the new drop from Sunflower Land which is going to be the Treasure Island and uh, some ways that I've faced a little bit of problem in the middle of the game to level up and stuff like that. Uh, obviously uh, if you are having a lot of NFTs that would have helped but um, there were some good things that were done into the game where drops of wood was increased. Um, I do not know whether you noticed that or not. The last time I made video um, during that period of a week or any week or two, I think things got um, leveled up a little bit. Um, so you get frequent drops of like frequent multipliers of wood drops, and also you'll get a frequent multiplier of drops for you know like uh, stones and stuff like that. So that's actually pretty good. Now, also a very good news probably would be for those people, those who got their hands on uh, to wood nymph Windy. Now with me the problem was the day windy was getting launched and i've mentioned you so many times that windy is important for people or players um those who want a little bit of extra like wood and everything because wood basically generates you everything so from wood everything is crafted right so my transaction actually got blocked for some reason and even though you know like i wasted all that um it didn't go through so all my efforts and everything did not go through um congratulations for those who people got the wood name for windy um and uh yep let's share progress i'm super excited about uh, treasure island and at first we'll show you progress and then we are going to head over to treasure island and discuss um whether you're going to benefit or not so let's dive in so <clears throat> last time you guys saw i was like level 13 or 14 i did not actually move a lot um in a wee span of week or so i was stuck in this one level um i was getting a lot of spend a lot of resources on some um you know like uh, pumpkins some you know nfts out of which i think maniki neko was worked it worth it um spend the time on envelopes and stuff like that as you know that there was events going on for envelopes and stuff like that um and that's pretty much it that's my progress uh, my next uh, target would be to make sure that you know like i am expanding expanding my land because uh, level 16 will be land expansion i have not selected two of my skill points i'm stuck in this whether i should take the animal skill point or not uh, where animals produce 10 percent quicker and animal produce 10 percent more uh, mutant uh, horse whisperer or not so these are some factors that we'll be thinking about and we'll be discussing later on in the videos um and today's main topic is going to be treasure island but you know we did see some sort of um, you know like leaks happening and we're going to talk about those leaks also so let's go to treasure island so treasure island is now open if you wanted a map of the treasure all you had to do is uh, head over to i think helios and I think, yes, if you go to this place, you could have crafted yourself um, a treasure map. Now it's sold out. Again, there's so much happening every day on a daily basis on this game that it is super hard to keep up for even like us. Um, but then, you know, like most of my focus is on content creation. So uh, it's more about content. Um, I do a lot of gaming content also now. So uh, I literally just did not get time to check out the treasure map uh, well, this treasure map would have definitely, definitely helped. Um, but uh, do get the Immortal Pier uh, if you are having... So it's not much, as you can see. It's a 10 of each and 5. It just gives you... Makes your fruit trees last longer by one harvest. So I think it's a very good and it must have kind of. It's one for everybody. So you should have that technically. Um, let's go back and go back to Treasure Island. So if you do not have that nothing to worry about a very good way of treasure island is to you can think it like this that it will help you to level up way more faster as a matter of fact um it's also random number generated which is a scenario model so basically you are wasting resources so how much you're wasting you're wasting two wood one stone and 0 0.625 so basically another wood to so consider this to be three wood and one stone um, you are wasting to see how much you get, right? So if you go to the shop, you can actually sell this in the shop also. So whatever you get, you can actually sell this. So commons are going to be these, which is wooden compass and all that stuff. These are pretty common. 
um, and some are going to be pirate bounty which are 93 SFL because that's what you are playing for pearl 46 SFL coral 18 SFL clamshell 4 SFL PP 2.34 SFL so I want some PP and I want the cucumber sea cucumber seaweed which are not much but this is what everybody's targeting uh, which is kind of awesome so let's go ahead and buy some sand shovels to show you guys as basically we are trying our luck on stream so whatever is there we can already make that so not a big deal so 11 times we can actually go and take shovels so nothing so did win the bumpkin salad bumpkin salad actually helps because it will help me level up so it's not that bad nothing nothing again nothing again this is 0 0.18 SFL 0 0.18 SFL I've got three chances I have to make sure that last one and I got a crab so the items that I got from the treasure island or you might be getting from the treasure island depending on which level you are also i think this matters but this is an rng model rng model you cannot predict um it is it is impossible to predict which slot but if you had the treasure map maybe maybe you could have got something more so let's go to the shop and we are going to sell items which we do not need like for the crab we will sell and we are going to sell the cucumbers which we do not need so basically we spend around about two sfl 3 SFL I think so on those sand shovels got back like 2 and we got the crunch uh, not that much but this will it's 319 XP so it saves me a little bit of money um, the pumpkin salad so I mean I think you're not getting robbed or anything you're literally not losing anything it's just that it's taking your resources so you're again going to put in a little bit more effort um, and that's what I've been finding so pumpkin salad would have taken me parsnip 10 parsnips and 20 radishes would have taken me a day um it just saved me a day of time you know rather than so i can keep on like doing something else amazing you know like uh it is just i've been playing this for the last like one or two days and i feel good that the reward system is pretty amazing because you're not losing anything instead that it's just going to save you some money um and save you some time and some effort or same fees not money i mean like save you on some sfl um because this is again not for financial gain and stuff like that so do uh, go ahead and try it out some stuff that you have to keep in mind that you know you're so involved into this and you're checking all the time you want to play this hard hardcore and stuff like that uh, go ahead and go to goblin retreat and do not do not forget auctioneer is coming back so make sure uh, february 28th it's coming back and again um, it's coming back on march 1th uh, paying 25 uh, gold i mean 150 supply it's exclusive i do not know about how much this nft will be worth it it does not have um, it is just a decoration piece it does not have any purpose of boost um, usually i do not recommend anybody until unless you have boost purposes on your farm but hey might be good to just if you have 25 gold lying around and you have that beer um, you should be good you know it's just you have to reach those levels faster um wearables um missed this today also so again 8 30 p.m tonight i can pay five sfl and get that pineapple shirt is it worth it probably not um but five sfl is nothing so might as well just collect it just to wear different sort of shirts because um as you can see um there is something that i did from the very beginning um is that i did have this tent now there has been leaks that there might be a second bumpkin that you can deck out and add that as a boost towards your farm so there can be two bumpkins in one land so that is the reason i made that tent because the purpose of that tent is um, just to add a bumpkin i do not know maybe later on it would require more resources i might not have resources at that time and stuff like that so if you're wondering how to do that just go out here um no actually go out here and you will see tent so every bumpkin needs a home add extra bumpkins to your island coming soon that's exactly what they're doing they're making more gear and stuff like that so so that you can add more pumpkins on the side um i have shifted from pumpkin salad to uh from pumpkin 
soup to pumpkin broth uh, just because it's giving me faster XP. Um, there is a video that we are going to make and talk to you about what to do from level 15 to level 20 and how can you go faster, um, you know, leveling up from level 15 to level 20. Alrighty, so stay tuned. I hope this video video helped. Enjoy Treasure Island. Uh, let me know down in comments below how did you like the Treasure Island because apparently I've been playing for two days. Um, I did not lose any SFL or anything. It's just paying back for itself. Uh, but the fun thing is that it is saving me time uh, in leveling up. So uh, if you're trying to gear up and if you do not want to waste some time and want to level up faster, maybe this is the route. Um, just keep in track of how much you're spending, how much SFL you're spending, because as you can saw in the stream, we started with like 60 or 70 SFL and now we are down to five. Um, the reason behind is that I am trying to constantly upgrade um, everything so that I can level up faster. That's, that's pretty much it, to spend some SFL and level up faster. All right, so take care folks, um, and uh, we'll meet you soon in another video where we'll be talking about some um, you know, level 15 to 20, you know, what to do and how to expand your farm faster. And we'll come back to you probably in a few days because we can make the chart, update the charts, and, uh, you know, share it with the community. All right, good night. Take care. See you folks on another episode. Till then, take care.